Good morning, noon, and night, my friends. Welcome. Video essay number one. This is actually a companion video slash audio episode to a podcast I do called What Game Should I Buy? So anyone who's interested in either or, the channel is at TAPS, and uh, I used to post a ton of Basically just video gameplay on it. But anyway, the podcast is on Spotify, and I believe it's on Apple, or whatever the iPhone equivalent is too. Sorry, I, I don't use iPhone. Don't know too much about it. Anyway, as you may have guessed, today's episode is about Stardew Valley. And I want to talk a little about Stardew Valley because it is probably my favorite ever life simulator. You know, one of those kind of games, like, if you ever grew up playing uh, Harvest Moon or just, like, wanting to be a farmer or something fun like that, it's it's perfect to, to get that fix for you. Just easy living, kind of like The Sims almost, but you're not as worried about, like, burning your house down and clowns jumping out of paintings, which actually happens in The Sims, just so you know. But, uh... You're more worried about like, oh, am I going to have a good harvest? How do I get to the bottom of this mines? So let me give you a little breakdown of what makes Stardew Valley so special. Super special. Uh, we actually, so I'm trying out this new feature I've got. Since i got video, I figure we can look into things together in real time. This is the website for Stardew Valley. Um, you inherited your grandfather's old farm plot in Stardew Valley. Armed with hand-me-down tools and a few coins, you set out to begin your new life. So the main features of this game are creating the farm of your dreams, living off the land, um, building relationships with people so you can have wives and husbands and friends and all that. And um, the thing about the relationships of this game that's really cool is everybody has their own individual little cutscenes that were written out, and they're really heartfelt. They um, get into some pretty interesting issues for such a kind of fun little 8-bit game. And, uh, well, I guess it's not an 8-bit game, but you get what I mean. Explore vast, mysterious caves. So, encounter dangerous monsters and valuable treasures deep underground. This is kind of a fun part for me because I don't want just a farming simulator. Like, that's cool, but it's not going to keep my attention. Even if you include the relationships with the friends and families and stuff in town and getting a wife or whatever. One of the things that's really more appealing to me is having an element of action and combat in there. And there are a few little... RPG kind of elements where you can pick what kind of rings and what kind of armor you'd want to wear. Kind of like Minecraft, you know? There's a picture of the mines. There it is. See? And uh, they have a very extensive mine system that you can explore, too. So I love that about it. And that's where you get all your ores and you can start smelting things to craft different kind of objects for your farms that'll help you to make some money. So that's kind of the fun of it. The last bullet point says customize. There are hundreds of character and home decoration options to choose from. And as you can see, it's all on PlayStation, Switch, Xbox. It's even on Android and iOS and Steam. Um, if you look down here, it says it was developed by Concerned Ape. Now, this is interesting. Concerned Ape is actually one dude. One guy spent time creating this game. He made the music. He made the dialogue. He wrote all those heartfelt cutscenes I mentioned. It's incredible. And look at this. April 16th, there's going to be a Stardew 1.6 update. It's mostly changes for modders, but there is also new game content. I mean, can you believe this? This guy... Let's see when Stardew Valley came out. Real quick. Real quick. I'm sorry I don't have it available for you guys up front. 2016, okay? So, this is, what is that, seven years later now. He is still working on updating this game, and that's one thing that's amazing about this game, is it has continual update, a continually engaged community. I just joined the subreddit for Stardew Valley this year, 2023, and it's still lively as ever. People are having great times, and, and they have cool tips. Um, if you are a Stardew Valley player, let me give you an awesome tip. First off, thanks for sticking with the video this long, because, I mean, you know what Stardew Valley is. You know the joys that await you. But um, 
befriend a green-haired woman named Caroline. She she lives at the uh, store, the local store. She's the husband of the owner of the store. <laughs> She's the wife of the owner of the store. But anyway, um, when you befriend her and you go in this back room in the store and you have a cutscene with her, she gives you a tea sapling. Very important to get a tea sapling because then you learn a recipe for the tea sapling. And you can make bank off of selling these tea saplings. And it's a good way to get like $30,000 within the first two seasons. You could easily save up tons of money. And uh, so that's one of the things about this game. Let me, let me get into it a little more of why I'm recommending it. Besides the fact that it's got an awesome community, the creator supports it. It's the perfect chill out game where you can just be laid back and have some beautiful music. It's a great game to kind of wind down at the end of the night with. Uh, but but beyond that, I would say it's the kind of game where you have endless rabbit holes to jump down. There's a whole element of lore behind it with these uh, little creatures that you can fulfill to kind of bring nature back to the town. There's a whole subplot that goes on with that, and it's about collecting all these different random items and things. So I know I'm kind of shooting in a lot of different directions here, but... If you're someone who likes a more laid-back game, or you're looking for a game to wind down at the end of the day with, a cozy game, I would say, this one will keep you invested for a long, long time. And even better than that, let's say you beat this game. Let's say you're like, alright, Stardew Valley was pretty awesome, he's right. Well, then, there's another game called Haunted Chocolatier which the creator, Concerned Ape, is working on now. So you'll have something new to look forward to soon. You know, assuming you're listening to this in 2023. If you're here from the future, hello from the past, don't eat the gravy. Don't do it. Ah! Okay, good. Just making sure. Anyway. <laughs> so, I think that's the main gist of Stardew Valley. I mean... Beyond the fact that you get to make your own farmer, create your own farm, develop new ways of making money and go into these mines and explore all sorts of crazy locations. There's this desert, there's an adventurer's club, all sorts of wacky things that you wouldn't expect to be in your standard like Harvest Moon clone. That's why I'm going to say this right now. This is not a Harvest Moon clone, okay? And that is all the better for this game. It is so much more than that. And that's why, honestly, I can never go back to a Harvest Moon game or just a base farming game. Because I know that there's better things out there now. And Stardew Valley is the epitome of one of those kind of farming life simulators. So, uh, a quick little bit of newskeeping before I close things out here. Um, this is technically the first of my video essays on the channel taps. So, anyone who's tuning in, super appreciate you. Um, and I love you. And I think you're awesome. And if you would like to tell me about your experience with Stardew Valley, I have a new Twitter account. It's not Taps Was Taken anymore. It's at Uncle Memphis. I don't know if you can see it down here. I, I looked up how to zoom in, but I can't remember anymore. Here we go. Look at that. Uncle Memphis, okay? Oh, too far, too far. There we go. So just tweet at me. You know, let me know what's up with you. Uh, let me know if you have new recommendations anyway I won't keep you it's meant to be a short informed thing so thanks for tuning in <laughs>